Hello guys, I want to talk real quick about my suspension mods. Recently I had a 2 inch drop with also a 15 way adjustable suspension and also my front strut tire bar here. Let me go ahead and get started on the front strut tire bar here from Corksport. Basically all the mods here are from Corksport. They provide really really good uh, quality performance parts and their customer service is also really really good. Uh, but first, a lot of people tell me, tell me that the front strut tire bar is basically just an aesthetic piece. Uh, it's a waste of money, some people say. Uh, but say, but go ahead and get it because it looks good. But in my opinion, um, I was having, like, uh, when, I, when I was on the highway and I would go up to a dip, I would feel the the car kind of flex, like, almost like this. <laughs> or something. Like, I, I just need to, it would, it would lose stability when doing that. And some people told me it was suspension and this and that. But, um... Even whenever I did update my suspension, I went ahead and uh, updated to the Coach Sport 15-way uh, adjustable suspension. Um, <clears throat> so I I put on the suspension and then I took this off for these bolts. These bolts were actually shorter because they, these have a a plate, a camber camber plate. So the these bolts were, ended up being shorter than the the regular than the regular uh, sock ones. So the regular stock bolts will not fit onto this because for some reason these 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 nuts over here they were only threaded up to the top half and these nuts are all the, are threaded all the way through so i had to wait until I, I was able to get some more nuts that fit the that fit these so i rode with the car without the brace for a little while and i would kind of feel that it was it was not stiff enough so i would go ahead and stiffen up the suspension but then i would feel the car get too bouncy and it was just kind of like a a battle between half like half bouncy half stiff and i wasn't i was just not pleased with it until i put the brace back on and i was like man like i could totally feel it stiffen up a little more a little a little less body roll and a whole lot less uh chassis movement whenever i'll be doing high speed turns and going into a dip and whatnot but um yeah but that's just my opinion so if some people say just get it just because it looks good but i feel like it really did stiffen up the chassis a little bit i get a little bit less flex in my opinion and you know I've driven it with and without it, and I I feel like I really notice it when it's not there. So let's go ahead and go on to the suspension. Like I said, the suspension is also from Core Sport. They are not coilovers, but they are adjustable. Um, so basically, you get a 1.75 inch drop in the front and a two inch drop in the back. Uh, one thing I do like to say, like. Since they are directly from Core Sport, the springs, the lowering springs, and the suspension were already put together. They're pre-assembled, so all I all I did was just took the old parts off and put the new parts on. It was really really easy. Core Sport provides really awesome detailed instructions, but also I want to also mention: make sure you have everything in the parts description when when installing these. You want you want to take apart your car and then realize that you don't have an Allen wrench <laughs> and you can't put on your uh, you can't put on your suspension just because of that and then you got to go get somebody else to take it to the storage to get one and then come back to your car um, but Yeah, really easy easy, easy setup uh, Since they since they are uh, a stiffer suspension uh, when you do have it in the softest setting You can actually hear kind of like the compression of the springs the camber plates actually do increase a little bit of the interior noise uh, from the road so you might get a little bit more road noise and uh you could also hear the suspension kind of like, kind of like it sounds like a uh, air cushion. I don't know if you ever, ever, saw, ever ever had like a mountain bike and you have suspension compressing on it. It kind of sounds like a like real quick. So, um, but yeah, no no scrubbing, no rubbing. Uh, it actually performs really really well. I love the adjustability on it. So I can set it to soft, especially when I know I'm gonna have passengers in the car. <laughs> so. Um, uh, so when you have it in the softest, all it is, is you just you just have more road noise than regular suspension. But then you go ahead and stiffen up, and you can really really tell. Uh, it's it's a crazy difference between soft and hard on the suspension. Uh, I really really like it. I, I don't I don't usually don't put it too too much in the hard on the stiffest setting because, as you can see, Houston roads aren't that great. But you know I I usually typically in my stiffest the stiffest I usually have it is ten. Uh, stiff in the back and then uh, around at 8 it goes all the way up to 15 but that's usually the setup that I like and I feel like it's a really good balance between uh, stiff and hardness just because 
they're not the best roads but when you get up to the highways you really want to be stiff especially when you're doing those hard turns you you know you you really increase the uh the miles per hour that you can take turns um but yeah i guess next upgrades would be these rims i would still want to do the 18 inch rims but uh i want to go with koenig to just get lighter rims and then go ahead and upgrade to the michelin pilot sport and yeah that's basically it guys if you have any questions uh be sure to ask me i'll i usually answer right away uh but yeah definitely check out core sport if you want any of these suspension mods if you don't want to deal with coilovers just because uh there's presets yeah, there's a preset stuff and whatever and you know you have to just hide just get it just right just to make sure it doesn't rub and it's too hard too stiff these all i do to adjust these real quick basically just turn this left and right and then of course you have it you just turn that little knob right there left and right on this side i don't have to jack up the car just reach it now i can just go in there and reach but on the other side because of the gas tank is right here the the trim is a little bit lower so i do have to jack the car up but it's, that's it i mean it's, it's no real big problem uh, just, as long as you have a jack uh you know you can do it real, real, real fast i usually you know, from day to day, I adjust it all the time, so it's it's really great. But yeah, all right, guys, appreciate it.